My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my Welcome back, it's the Sleepy Shell Code. This is Sleepy P, how are you all doing? Today we are going to be talking about the man, the myth, the legend, none other than a Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, the guy's been Sherlock Holmes. The guy's been Doctor Strange. I mean, what can't the guy do? I particularly enjoyed the Doctor Strange movies for MCU. They weren't all that bad. But, I mean his name let's just address the elephant in the room i mean benedict cumberbatch who would name their child that <laughs> there's plenty of people on the internet who have given him alternate names such as brandy book crackerjack fraggle rock cracker dong <laughs> buckingham Bum a bumbus black benjamin crimpy snitch billington cockle tit Balladio Ball Candlestick, Butterfree Crumple Snap, Blasphemy Charizard, <laughs> Broccoli Coddle Swart, Whippersnatch Chicken Strips. <laughs> the list goes on, but old Bendy Boot Coffee Cup. Ah, it looks like him and his him and his clan are in trouble. The the ah, oh, the, this just beggars belief. Benedict Cumberbatch, Barbados may hit Star's family with reparation claim over historical links to slave trade. Oh, that's a tongue twister in itself. A top official in Barbados does not deny that the Cumberbatch family could face a claim for damages over its historical links to slavery on the island. The world has gone mad. This is just ridiculous. I mean, look. <laughs> that was his face when he read this story. He's like, eh, what the fuck? No. The family of Oscar-nominated actor Benedict Cumbersnatch is reportedly facing the prospect of legal action over its historical links to the slave trade in Barbados. A top official on the Caribbean island who has a leading role on its National Commission for Reparations has told the Daily Telegraph it's in the earliest stages of efforts to seek damages from the ancestors of the Cumberbatch estate. Why? 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 There's actually a top official on the Caribbean island who has a role in its National Commission for Reparations. What the actual fuck? That's the equivalent of somebody from where I live going over to Norway and saying, uh, we, want <laughs> we want reparations for what the Vikings did to us. All those rapes and pillages. What the actual fuck? This is just a cash grab if ever I saw one. Look, I mean, I don't condone slavery in any way, shape or form. And, and slavery sucks. And what happened to all those people all those hundreds of years ago? Yeah, it was despicable. And it should never have happened. But to go after the ancestors of those peoples for money to make yourselves feel better, that, that, that's ridiculous. The paper described how Joshua Cumberbatch, the seventh great-grandfather of Benedict Cumberbatch, bought the Cleland Plantation in the north of the island in 1728. It was home to 250 slaves until the abolition of slavery more than 100 years later. So that was, that was, that was scratched out in 1828. I mean, that's ridiculous. So, you know, this this was over 200 years ago. You know, like, people did bad shit back in the day. And, I mean, to go after his family now for reparation... I mean, they're going after his family for reparations because his family's fucking got money. This is ridiculous. The decision resulted in the family and other slave-owning operations across the British Empire being compensated by the UK government. I mean, why are we fucking caving into this? It's ridiculous. And it's like, ah, oh, you did something bad like 200 years ago. 
Give me some money. Is that how it works now? No. Oh. I wonder if my ancestors were oppressed. <laughs> I'm skint. <laughs> I need some money. Slavery has been at the forefront of debate across many Caribbean communities in recent years, largely prompted by the build-up to the decision of Barbados to become a republic in 2021. See, what's happened is it has become a republic, but it has no money. It's got no money left. So, what's it doing? It's fucking going reparations. Who's got money that we can get? <laughs> You know, fucking work for a living. Fucking sue everybody because your ancestors were hard done to, you know, like two, three hundred years ago. That is fucking ridiculous. It's retarded. And I don't I don't care what anybody says. That that's that, it's just stupid. There's there's no excuse for this level of greed and or stupidity. Campaigners in Barbados are urging Tory MP Richard Drax, who inherited a sugar plantation on the island that was established with slave labour in the 1620s, to hand it back. I mean... I, I, I don't know how I feel about that one. I mean, does he need a sugar plantation? I mean, I'd, I'd probably say, yeah, hand that back. You know, give 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 them give them back their sugar. But Cumberbatch don't give them any cash. Don't cave in, man. Uh, so Cumberbatch could face an application for compensation. Oh no. So yeah, Drax could uh, re face an application for compensation if he refuses. Of course he could. They just need some money. The problem is that they rely on tourists these islands, and they they don't have any other fucking income. Uh, so yeah, you might as well get it from film stars. Even the royal family faces the prospect of a claim, according to officials, that they may have stressed there's no sense to a blame to be attached to living relatives for the actions of their ancestors. Of course not. It's ridiculous. You cannot blame people's ancestors. Y you know, you can't hold Benedict Cumberbatch accountable for the actions of his great, 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 great grandfather. That's fucking stupid. David Comisong, the deputy chairman of the National Commission on Reparations, told the Daily Telegraph he would want to see ancestors of slave-owning families pay damages. When asked directly if that would include the Cumberbatch clan, he replied, he responded, this is at the earliest stages, we're just beginning. A lot of this history is only now really coming to light. Exactly, it's history. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch himself has expressed contrition for his own family's links to slavery, suggesting it was the reason why he took the role of William Pitt the Younger in the film Amazing Grace, which focused on the abolition of the trade. <sighs> Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Personally, I just think it, it, it's about fucking greed and it's about a lack of a nation to be able to provide for itself so they're just going to go after people fucking crying about shit that happened 300 years ago i don't know maybe it's time to get over it and fucking start doing stuff for yourself anyway this is sleepy pete this is the sleepy shell core make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you next time take it easy peace out <laughs>